What's up everybody, Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, so what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another video. Hey, check this out. What I'm going to be doing in this video is pretty much showing you guys how you can effectively go ahead and clean up some of your vocal takes after you record. A lot of times we record our vocals, we tend to have a lot of things that's kind of going on in the background or maybe it's something as simple as headphone bleed okay now the best thing that you can do in this situation is obviously go ahead and record in a quiet treating environment if possible i know everybody don't have access to that but if you can it'll definitely be more beneficial to your recordings overall but one thing that tends to happen a lot is headphone bleed when we record a lot, a lot of times we don't even know that our headphones are so loud that that extra bleed is going into the microphone or the microphone is picking it up, especially if you're using a condenser microphone. So sometimes we need to utilize things like maybe a noise gate or, you know, maybe turn the volume down some in the headphones or possibly you know do some things like try to clean it up the best way possible so what i'm going to do in this video is just kind of show you guys an effective tool that i like to utilize to go ahead and just clean up some of my vocals and just do a couple things to just go ahead and try to take some of that extra noise out all right guys so check it out this is something that i was working on i was working on a beat and then i also recorded some lyrics to go with it so check it out look i'm feeling bad that he put you through it nigga cheated and he promised that he wouldn't do it Told you things that he know he didn't mean. didn't mean Standing dodging you, he know he not clean, not clean. So what's the point when you giving this bomb confidence uh -huh. The nigga cheated on you but you stayed with no consequence no. You think you taught him a lesson, you think he learned think something he learned You turned something. around and rewarded him like he earned like something he earned Now something. what the fuck he got a feel, cause you still here yeah. You made it pretty clear that he can have whoever in his yeah. ear Trying to teach a young boy to be a grown man grown You better man. find a different route, create another And why the hell you acting like you need him you be working them double so you can try and feed what the hell kind of man hey, look, this nigga tripping with his hands on your neck yeah. you gotta be a woman and demand your respect come on all right so i just wanted to give you guys a little sample a little taste of exactly what i was working on and that's so far i think it's sounding pretty good i hadn't really started fully mixing it or anything but it will sound good but for the purposes of this video, what's going to be important is I want you guys to hear some of the headphone bleed that I had going on. Now, of course, I could have turned it down, but I didn't. So what are you doing in the situation? Check it out. Wouldn't do it. So if I just did, you know, like this particular part here. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. You can hear that headphone bleed. Now, like I said, there's a couple things that we can try to do in this particular situation, but... You know, normally I would try to go in and try to see if I can set up a noise gate to go ahead and take some of that noise out um, and, you know, try to key it to that high frequency only. And that way it's only opening and closing and being utilized on my vocals. And then when it's not, it's basically closes down or close that gate to where you can't hear that noise of that vocal. That would be something interesting to show you in this video. But what I wanted to show you is using a feature. First off, if you just wanted to clean some of this stuff up, uh, one quick tip that you can obviously do in this particular situation is you can go here and hit the eraser tool, okay? Or the scissor tool. Once you do that, you hold down a command key and like you can just cut wherever you need to cut it, okay? So say if I went here, you know, I can just hold down the command key and cut there okay that'd be one way of kind of cleaning it up and let's see if it kind of takes it out wouldn't do it didn't mean so even though it's taking it out that's fine but one thing that i like to do to go ahead and clean up all this extra so i like to use this option uh and it's control x it's called like i'm not sure what it's called for this program but it would be like strip silence the same thing equivalent in pro tools okay and I absolutely love utilizing this because this just makes it so much easier to clean up all that extra stuff. So all, basically what it's going to do is anything that's between the actual vocals, once you set the threshold, the, the pre-tom and the post-tom, the, depending on where you extend it, all this extra stuff is just pretty much going to cut it out of there. And I think this is a very useful tool. So say if I just went and we set the threshold... If I went down and up on the threshold, you're going to see what it's going to do. It's going to basically change um, 
the width or the increments of how much it's you actually want it to cover. So that's really why it's going to be everything. But we wanted just to get certain vocals, okay? And the main vocals. So that's what it's going to do here, as you can see that. Now, this is something that you want to do next is we want to try and change. Uh, we don't want it to cut off the beginning of each note. So you just want to go here to pre-attack time and you kind of want to expand it a bit so it's not cutting off those vocals. OK, and that's pretty good. And then the same thing here for the post. If you just want to save a little bit more of that vocal, you can do that as well. Now, if you go here, we can change this into those increments. Now, if we don't want this to like say particularly here and we don't want it to cover that one then we can just kind of widen this a bit more something like that okay and once you widen it then we can go back to the post and kind of cut it down and then the pre as well and all you got to do at this point is just hit okay boom and it's going to strip silence a lot of that stuff out of there okay so now at this point when you start playing it, um, you won't hear as much. Now, this is going to be something that's important because I didn't address this with you guys. The reason why you want to go ahead and do something like this is because sometimes that extra sound that you get in the background, you know, those extra high frequencies coming from the headphone bleed. Sometimes when you add like delay and compressors and all these effects to your vocals, it tend to delay that effect too. And sometimes you're thinking that you're having all this extra noise going on in the background and you can't really figure out where it's coming from. Well, guys, it's coming from that. And it can be pretty distracting if your ears as good as mine. And sometimes you'll think that you need to do a whole takeover again or you feel like somebody's hitting the space bar. You're hearing like this tapping noise out of nowhere. That's normally where it's coming from. So if you just adjust that, fix the headphone bleed by turning the headphones down, um, you can eliminate that. And we still have that now in this particular case, if I wanted to go ahead and do something as simple as, uh, let's say, you know, just add in fades, you can go in and try to be a little more precise with stuff. That's at least what I like to do. So if it's not as close as you want it to be, then you can just cut off a little bit more simply just doing stuff like this. Okay. Or if I wanted to highlight, say, all three of these and pull it back at least to right there, then I feel a little bit more comfortable with something like this. Now, this particular one, I just kind of worry. Hit S for solo. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so now, you know, in this particular case, if I wanted to do the same thing with these particular notes, I can just highlight them all together just make sure that you're not cutting off too much of anything and i like that pretty tight so now if i highlight this and i want to go to here and change this to like uh let's say my solo oh no let's do the fade tool the fade tool if i hold down my fade my command button and i just apply a fade to that little particular section down at the bottom if you notice, it's applying a little fade to the end of every last one of these vocals because I have them all highlighted. And then the same thing here, just barely something simple at the top of each one. That way we're not hearing any clips or popping from the cuts or anything like that. So everything should be good to go from here. Let's check it out. Look, I'm feeling bad that he put you through it. Nigga cheated and he promised that he wouldn't do it. Told you things that he know he didn't mean. Steady dodging you, he know he not clean. not clean So what's the point when you giving this bum confidence uh, The nigga cheated on you but you stayed with no consequence nuts. You think you taught him a lesson, you think he learned think something he learned You turned something. around and rewarded him like he earned like something he earned. And that would be a pretty cool effective thing that you can utilize Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments and let me know what you think. Guys, I truly appreciate you guys watching my videos. It really helped me out a lot. Uh, I feel like you guys really support me uh, in my process. I'm trying to grow my channel. Guys, I really would love to get to, at this point, 50,000 subscribers. But my ultimate goal is 100,000 subscribers or more. 
thank God. Like, I mean, if I could reach a million, that'd be cool. But that's not what this video is about. All I want you guys to do is pretty much support me. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. Guys, I bring you a lot of tutorials uh, on this channel on how to do stuff on Macs, PCs, recording DAWs. Uh, video editing, photography, the whole nine yards. I really try to help everybody grow their business. So that's my goal. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Leave me some comments if you have any tips uh, that I can kind of do to make this process a lot easier for me. Uh, I would love to know that. And guys, as always, stay tuned for the next video.